Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you follow the channel, you know that we are a big fan of ETFs and specifically sector ETFs. Why? Because today, any sector ETF that is down about 30-35% presents the most opportunity when the bull run happens. Currently, all sector ETFs are down except the energy sector ETF, which is up 39.86%. Out of all these sector ETFs, we will focus today on the tech sector ETF. We will do a comparison between XLK, VGT, Fidelities, FTEC, and iShares, IYW. So if you end up finding any value out of today's video, make sure you hit the like, and without further ado, let's dive in. When I start to look into any ETFs, there are three main criteria that I look for. Number one is the date of inception of that ETF and how long that ETF has been in the market because you would want to own ETFs that have longer time span because they have seen both the ups and the downs in the market and that will reflect in their performance. A classic example would be if you notice all the ARK fund ETFs are down because most of the ETFs have not really seen a recession which now we are in officially. The the second point that is important for me is the asset under management because you want to own ETFs that have large money under their management as opposed to lesser known ETFs. The third point that I look for an ETF is the expense ratio because that is the fee that you will pay to own that ETF. So with that said, I have these four tech sector ETFs very popular. Number one is the Spider XLK. Number two is your Vanguard Information Technology ETF ticker symbol VGT. Number three is Fidelity MSCI Information Information Technology Index ETF, FTEC, and iShares US Technology ETF, IYW. We start off with inception date. XLK was launched in 1998. VGT was launched in 2004. FTEC is much newer, 2013 and IV and IYW is 2000. The three out of the four ETFs in this comparison have seen declines in the 2007-2008 bear market and that is what is important for us to see. XLK is 0.11, VGT is 0 0.10, FTEC is 0 0.08, IYW is 0 0.39. Three of them have a very similar expense ratio whereas IYW is a little bit more expensive. Next up is the asset under management. We are seeing 35.63 billion in XLK, we are seeing 42.55 billion in VGT with only 4.76 in FTEC with only 5.71 billion in the IYW. If this is your first time investing in a sector ETF, I can already dwindle down the list from four to two and I would focus on XLK and VGT for our comparison moving forward. Next up is dividend. Now, generally for a tech sector ETF, you're not looking at dividend as your main criteria for holding these ETFs. You're looking at capital appreciation, but in any case, the companies in these ETFs pay dividends, so why not? The dividend yield for the trailing 12 month for XLK is 1.03, whereas VGT is 0.91. The dividend growth for three year is 6.46 for XLK and VGT is 4.23. The dividend frequency for both XLK and VGT are quarterly. Looking at the 10 year performance, XLK returned 290.97 and VGT returned 326.86. Whereas for five year, now we see the gap is shrinking between XLK and VGT. It's 101.45 and VGT 102.26. And for three year, XLK was 50%, whereas VGT started losing the performance and only returned 45.31%. Now don't get me wrong, excellent performance and this is amazing. However, there is a reason why that has happened. And I will show you that once we go through the top 10 holdings and you will start understanding why there is a performance gap. At the time of this recording, XLK XLK is trading at $120.77 and VGT is trading at $312.76. So just from a price standpoint, VGT is a relatively more expensive ETF as compared to XLK. FTC trades around $92 and IYW trades at $74. Generally for smaller accounts that cannot afford a full share of VGT, XLK provides a very good option. Next up is what are the top holdings in this sector ETF? Number one for XLK, they have about 78 stocks in the portfolio, whereas VGT has 375. So the biggest difference is that XLK is a much more concentrated ETF, whereas VGT is much more diverse. Apple, similar. Microsoft, similar. Nvidia, similar. Visa, same. MasterCard, same. Broadcom, same. Cisco, same. Accenture, same. 
here's the difference number nine is salesforce whereas on vgt they have adobe and number 10 is texas instruments whereas on vgt it's salesforce the top 10 holdings of xlk contributes 67 percent whereas vgt it's 58 percent now why do you think that xlk has outperformed vgt in the last three and five years microsoft is the main reason that xlk has outperformed vgt microsoft has given you 197 percent gain in the last five years if you look at xlk overweight relative to vgt microsoft is 4.4 percent more over overrated in XLK as compared to VGT and that has been a key driver in getting better performance on XLK in the last three and five years. Next five years where do you think Microsoft is heading out to? In my opinion Microsoft is a very solid company and their cloud computing is growing and I am not going to bet against that. That is another reason why I am very bullish on XLK as compared to VGT. Next up is a risk and return. The blue dot is XLK, yellow dot is VGT. There is a higher return and it is less riskier on the XLK as opposed to VGT. However, the difference is very minor and I would not base my decision solely on this factor itself. What you should focus on is the rating system because for ETFs, ratings are very important. Both get a five star from Morningstar. Both get a five from Lipper on the overall total return. VGT gets a five for Lipper's overall consistent return whereas XLK only gets a four and Lipper overall expense, they both get a five. For me, XLK wins the battle because for number one, it has a longer inception date. So it has seen much more different market conditions. Number two is because XLK will be part of my public portfolio, which is a small account. And I want to own the whole share of I have to go with XLK because of the price. And number three, the three to five years return on XLK is higher than VGT primarily because it is overweight in Microsoft. So there you go. That was the comparison between XLK, VGT, FTEC and IYW. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the like, click on subscribe and ring the bell notification. I will see you next time investor family, but don't forget to invest for tomorrow.